Hi again. Uh, this is the same little capacitor that I had on the uh, the bridge before, the one uh, that I made, and it has a value of uh, around uh, 3,400 picofarads. Looks like it's shifted a little bit as I've been playing with it. What I will do with this is I'll um, I'll, I'll double up the dielectric. Okay, I've uh, doubled up the amount of insulation in there. What I didn't do was take proper account of how much overlap I have of the plates. Uh, but uh, again, this, this isn't rocket science. It's uh, just a bit of fun with a, a capacitor. So we'll bolt that up and see what it does. Okay, I've just put the capacitor on a little box uh, just so as I can get a close up of the instrument and the capacitor. And uh, oh, I'm still on the uh, 10,000 picofarad range, so it's 10,000 picofarads times 0.1, and then uh, I'll just trim that in there. And that's I'm looking for the zero here, of course, or the null. And uh, okay, so we've got 1.66, so 1.6246. I'll just zoom in there. So let's see, uh, 10,000 picofarad scale up there, and then the multiplier, sorry, the multiplier down there, uh, 0.1 and then it's uh, the 6 and then 2, 4, 6. So that's 1,660 picofarads, um, which uh, I was expecting it to be about there, uh, 1,700 picofarads, because um, that would have been half of its previous value. So there's proof, that if you needed it, that uh, doubling the thickness of the insulation halves the capacitance. So I say, probably telling you what you already know, but it's uh, that's a, a factual demonstration. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.